Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Ezekiel chapter 45, beginning at verse 7 and ending at verse 25. This is the Amplified Version. Portion for the Prince. The Prince shall have land on either side of the portion set aside as a holy section and the property of the city, adjacent to the holy section and the property of the city on the west side toward the west and on the east side toward the east and in length comparable to one of the portions from the west border to the east border. This shall be his land for possession in Israel. So my princes shall no longer oppress my people, but they shall give the rest of the land to the house of Israel according to their tribes. Thus says the Lord God, Enough, O princes of Israel, Put away violence and destruction, and practice justice and righteousness. Stop your forceful seizure of property from my people, says the Lord God. You shall have just balances and weights on your scales and just measures, a just ephah, dry volume measure, and a just bath, liquid measure. The ephah and the bath measures shall be the same quantity, the bath containing one-tenth of a homer, and the ephah one-tenth of a homer. Their standard measure shall be according to the homer. The shekel shall be twenty giras, twenty shekels, twenty-five shekels, and fifteen shekels added together. A total of sixty shall be your manna, mina. This is the offering that you shall offer, a sixth of an ephah from a homer of wheat, a sixth of an ephah from a homer of barley, and the prescribed portion of oil, namely the bath of oil, a tenth part of a bath of oil from each core, which is, is ten baths on a, or a homer, for ten baths make a homer. And you shall offer one sheep out of every flock of two hundred from the watering places of Israel, for a grain offering, for a burnt offering, and for peace offerings, to make atonement for those who brought them, says the Lord God. All the people of the land shall give to this offering for the prince in Israel. It shall be the prince's responsibility to provide the burnt offerings, the grain offerings, and the drink offerings at the feast, on the new moons and on the Sabbaths, at all the appointed feasts of the house of Israel. He shall prepare and provide the sin offering, the grain offering, the burnt offering, and the peace offerings, to make atonement for the house of Israel. Thus says the Lord God, In the first month, on the first of the month, you shall take a young bull without blemish and cleanse the sanctuary from sin. The priest shall take some of the blood of the sin offering and put it on the doorpost of the temple, on the four corners of the ledge of the altar, and on the post of the gate of the inner courtyard. You shall do this on the seventh day of the month, for everyone who goes astray and sins through error of ignorance. For him who was naive, so shall you make atonement for the temple house. In the first month, on the fourteenth day of the month, you shall have the Passover, a feast of seven days. Unleavened bread shall be eaten. On that day the prince shall provide for himself and for all the people of the land a bull for a sin offering. And for the seven days of the feast, he shall provide, as a burnt offering to the Lord, seven bulls and seven rams, without blemish on every day for the seven days, and a male goat daily for a sin offering. He shall provide as a grain offering to be offered, with each bull an ephah of grain, an ephah with each ram, and a hen of oil with each ephah of grain. In the seventh month, on the fifteenth day of the month, at the feast, he shall provide offerings like these for the seven days, as the sin offering, the burnt offering, the grain offering, and the oil. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.